Hello and welcome to today's video on home practice brought to you by the Centre for Music at the University of the West of England. And I'd like to share with you six points of how you can keep your home practice interesting. So your first bit of advice is leaving your instrument out of its case. I have my trombone on its stand, it never goes in its case because it's out of sight and it's out of mind. And it takes me a good five minutes to get my instrument ready. So I use that five minutes towards my practice time. So leave your instrument out of its case. Hopefully that will encourage you to practice every day. My second piece of advice is little and often. And this really helps with your muscle memory and keeping your embouchure or your hands or whatever instrument you're playing nice and fresh and helps with your muscle memory. So I do a little bit of practice in the morning, a good chunk at lunchtime, and maybe an hour or so in the afternoon. And that makes sure that by the next day, my instrument's only been off of my face for maybe 15 hours or so. Tip number three is to keep your warm up and your studies varied. Now this is important, even though you're covering the same technical areas, maybe that's breathing or tonguing or finger exercises if you're a violin player, whether you're covering those, you keep your studies varied. So not doing the same study every day, but you're still covering the same technical aspects. Tip number four, and we're not all gonna like this one, is making sure we do still practice our scales and practicing our scales without a tutor book. So practice them orally, trying to learn the sound of our majors and minor scales and putting them into practice on our instrument. And if you're confident with those, why not start to explore the wonderful world of modes, which will also help with your improvisation. Tip number five is try to find a resource where you can record yourself. This is really useful. Sometimes we convince ourselves we're playing in time or we're playing in tune. And actually, when we hear ourselves back, we can be really critical about ourselves. And this will help us improve our own practice. And finally, why not make use of the wonderful resources that you will find on the internet, whether that's through sites like the IMSLP, where there's a whole host of resources for you to download, or maybe look at YouTube and put in play along tracks or jazz improvisation and have a go at some new resources that you'll find online. So there we are, six bits of information or six bits of advice will help you with your home practice. So leave your instrument out, do a little bit of practice, but often, every day. Make sure that you have a varied warm up, that you do cover your scales. Try to record yourself every day and use those resources that you find online to make your practice more interesting and more varied. So that's it. I hope you continue to practice each day and to improve playing during lockdown. So keep practicing and stay safe and we'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.